experience in cybersecurity is not as extensive as it is in internal audits and internal controls. Um, I started out my career in IT, but quickly morphed into compliance and uh, governance. So with that being said, um, you know, kind of peeked into cybersecurity because when I first started, cybersecurity really did not exist. Uh, but now it does, and it's very full-fledged as you can see. Um, and um, you know, ISACA has been really with me throughout my whole career. So I am uh, grateful for that. But uh, really my role currently as a Chief Information Security Officer for a Tier 1 supplier, automotive supplier, um, you, you know, um, I keep my diversity and background uh, from working in automotive, working in food and entertainment, higher education, give me a perspective of what it means to be, um, you know, working for profit and also non-profit. So there's a little, you know, of both. Um, so again, having all of that under my uh, wing, if you call it, in my portfolio, I think prepared me really well to look at risk from uh, a huge perspective and also uh, at an industry specific perspective. Well, my attendees, I'm hoping they will learn quite a bit about what is coming our way. Um, cybersecurity, it's like never a dull day in my life, even in my day. Um, so having that understanding of what is coming from an emerging um, security threats perspective um, and how that affects our organization and also all of our partners, whether they were internal or external and what type of issues that we need to kind of uh, look for to protect our people, protect our intellectual property, which that is now the highest commodity from a ransomware attack. This is really what they're looking for, right? Your information. So how can we protect our information? Um, so um, I'll give a couple of examples as well to kind of like drive it home, but I'm really hoping that this will give them a little bit of taste to kind of look, what to look out for and what are some of the techniques that really work and some of the ones that really didn't work. There are a few challenges that we're facing today. Um, but the ones that are most prevalent is the ITOT emergence, going from cyber into physical. This is really what is scaring us all. Could someone hijack a hospital, um, which that actually proven to be true, um, where they were ransomware? Um, what does that mean? Does that mean patients who died? Um, safety of humans is like the number one. But that convergence, um, where you're moving from one attack vector to another and moving from a cyber, kind of virtual into the actual physical world. That is really the biggest concern right now. Um, of course, ransomware uh, has always been an issue. Um, having multiple attackers get to you from everywhere and anywhere. Uh, with the geopolitical situation that we're in right now, it, it adds all that complexity. The Cybersecurity Summit is extremely essential because this is the space and it's a safe space to exchange ideas, understand each other's challenges, and also understand and learn from each other what can we do to either up our game, be ahead of the, you know, the attackers, and also what can we do to advance our profession. Um, we also need to have next generation with, uh, colleagues and, and, and newcomers in, whether that was someone from a different um, career path that moves into cybersecurity or audit or governance or compliance or vice versa, getting you know someone out to other areas and what is possible. This is really the summit that kind of opens up everybody's eyes to what is possible and what's not possible in addition to what can we learn from each other. That is so important.